More than 500 Chinese suppliers show off over 20,000 products, including household goods, electronics, clothing and furniture. China's consumer manufacturers are back meeting face-to-face -face with one of their largest markets after several years away because of the pandemic. Among them is electronic bike and scooter manufacturer Ruland, based out of Shenzhen. They told me that it is increasingly important to show that you have a product that takes environmental protection seriously. Environmental protection is very important to our friends all over the world, so our products and all of the packaging that we use accords to strict international requirements. For example, we have strict inspections by the Consumer Standards Authority in Germany, and we also have to make sure that what we sell can be disposed of safely and sustainably when its life comes to an end. Our aim is to ensure that our products meet the standards and then bring an environmentally friendly product to everyone. Batteries are most definitely included at this gathering of Chinese manufacturers. Another Shenzhen-based company, Best Technology Co. Limited, are banking on communal power banks being the future of mobile phone charging on the go. The idea is that you scan a code from the terminal, it gives you a charger to fit your device, which you rent. They are pitching these as the way to stop festival goers in Europe this summer from running out of juice, with one eye on the sustainability of the finite resources in batteries. Our power banks are shared. This will reduce the purchase of power banks. If everyone owns their own, at some point that will just be sitting idle. That's a waste of resources. The number of power banks is very harmful to the earth. It can cause pollution. But we all need power. That's why we're promoting the shared power bank model. Chinese manufacturers seeking to reduce their environmental impact has certainly struck a chord with German-based businesses scouting for new products. We are living in the 21st century and like I think the last 20 years and we start to understand the, the importance of the like environment friendly products more and that that's like important point also for the like producers for the sellers like how we can make it more environment friendly step by step. Many of the products making their way from China to Europe come here to Duisburg and the continent's largest inland container port. The harbour has seen a 187% year-on-year increase in goods coming through its terminals for the first three months of this year. This is crucial for the German economy which slipped into recession in the first part of this year. Trade between Berlin and Beijing was worth around $320 billion in 2022.